the someone the call for Blavatsky. Helena Petrovna, thank you for coming. This is Max. Oh yes, I have spoken to you before, yes. And what is it that interests you today? Um, okay, so the main question is uh, very interesting. <clears throat> I just finished reading your book about India. Yes. And it was exceptional. I was absolutely charmed. And there is so much I learned about India more from your book than from uh, anything I heard before. Ah, well, it is that I am a, someone that tries to relate information in the the most positive way. In the, I am trying to. In that time, I was trying to be <clears throat> informational, but yet I was trying to also be human. Uh huh. And uh, that's my question. So. I just uh, noticed that this writing of yours was very different from your typical writings. Yes, of course it was. And, uh, okay, can you explain any more? Well, because I was trying to be human in this writing <laughs> and, and all the other writings, my alien side came through very clearly. But this one, I tried to be more human, tried to suppress uh, the things from outside so that I could bring information from these things to the inside of uh, your thought process so that you could learn and expand. Not that I wanted to exclude that part of my being, but I did want to for humans to be able to relate to it in a better way. Oh, I see. I was just thinking that for you, it was very unusual type of writing. Yes, it was very unusual. And then for Yogananda, his um, autobiography of, of, of a yogi was also very different from his normal writing. He wrote lots of things. Uh, let me explain something. When you are doing this kind mm -hmm. of writing for the human race, you want to make sure that mm -hmm. enough uh, the, um, the populists will understand what you are writing about mm -hmm. by other writings were about uh, what the human populace would understand and uh, bring into their own lives in many ways, but this could be uh, used to learn to, uh, to bring in a greater existence for them. And this is what uh, uh, Biography of a Yogi also did for, with Yogananda. He was trying to bring in and teach uh, humans how to have a better life, how to, ex how to per exist in a better way. And so as I uh, journeyed to India and saw the way that the humans were living there, it was, it burned me in my heart that I need to write something uh, that would communicate my thoughts and understandings of the human condition in a in a greater way than um, that I could write <clears throat> if I was just doing it intellectually. Right. Um, so I, I thought I recognized, uh, I thought I thought that um, uh, autobiography of, of a yogi and um, your book about India were written by the same person. Maybe it was um, dictated by the same person? And the same energy, perhaps. But not right. the same person. But the same energy was flowing for that book as for the other. And so with that particular kind of energy, yes, we took a lot of energy from Gaia. We took some energy from the universe. But we were trying to bring it into a grounded situation. So that is the energy we tried to use, the grounding and the uh, solar plexus energy uh, for these books. I think I recognize some personal style and some uh, um, turns of this of the plot, which are very personal. I think it was a writer which he channeled. Yes. Very good. That that is very good. Yes. <laughs> Can you disclose the name of that writer? Um, well, the writer was not, 
there at the at the time of the writing, but it was there within me at the time of the writing. Within me. Yep. Yep. So it, but he was not a someone in the world that was alive. So there was some of his work within me. Yes, and it was the work of ancient writers that have come into this this world to bring information. But I, the names of the writers are more than one. Uh -huh. It is not possible to tell you exactly who wrote what, but, but I knew that they were there. Okay. Some were um, from the Greek culture. Some of them were from the Indian culture, of course, and some were from the Asian culture. I see. Yeah, this was like a, a typical uh, Odyssey, right? Odyssey, a typical travel notes, <clears throat> and very personal. Yes. And um, for a change, you pretended to stay on the western side of the mind and was surprised by things that happened. Well, you have to be open to the situation that at hand. You must, uh -huh. must be aware of all that is going on. And so there were some surprises, but um, I think that they were, ex I was expecting to have some surprises. Right. No, I, I usually think that uh, the... Uh, the viewer co-creates the experience, and as because you at that time were already pretty advanced, I think you co-created a lot of experience. Yes, I agree with that. Like there were like typical miracles, like um, when uh, uh, Moria appeared from nowhere to save your companion, and not at once, not once, it was several times. So, yes. Moria is close to me, was close to me, and is, is close to me. <clears throat> so, um, would you like to introduce him and invite him, if you don't mind? I can invite him, yes. Thank you. One, mo one moment, please. Uh-huh, thank you. And have a wonderful day. I am so glad you enjoyed the book. Thank Did you. It you. To grow in many ways. Did you? Ask, are you asking me? Yes. Oh, let me think. I didn't analyze it in that way yet, but that's all. Right. Uh, that was the energy which I used for my transformation as I was writing the grant application. Yeah. Excellent. <clears throat> that is perfect. I will bring uh, Master Morier. Mm-hmm. Thank you.